Hi guys! Um, today I wanted to show you I finished the Hope bracelet. Uh, I hope you like it. I made it for a friend who basically lost everything in a fire and I gave her the PDF file in the hopes that she can make some money. I will leave the link for you uh, underneath the video and maybe you can help her out if you like the pattern um, to, uh, you know, get her life back together again. It's a really sad story. Um, I talked about, about it in an earlier video, but I will leave the links downstairs to show you what actually happened. I also made a, a video for a 3D spider. Um, his legs stand up. If you can see it on the side, maybe the picture will be better. Um, so if you think you're up to it, to a more advanced uh, tutorial, then I'll leave the link for that underneath the video also. But today, I want to make these earrings with you. Uh, they're not heavy, they may look heavy, but they're not. And um, uh, I really wanted to do something Art Deco. And um, it turned out to be a little bit more of like an Egyptian kind of style. But, you know, Egyptian and Art Deco are like very close together. So this is uh, basically a mixture of both of them. <laughs> And I hope you like it, so let's get started. I'll leave the material list for you underneath the video so that I don't have to go through all that while I'm beading. And um, what you need to begin with is a 12 millimeter um, Rivoli and some mini duos. For this, it is very important that you start with uh, Berkeley's Fireline. This is Fishing Fireline. You can get this at Walmart if they have a fishing department. Uh, this is uh, 0 0.13 millimeters. And we need this to pass through the mini duo several times. So it's very important you get the 0 0.13. When you get the regular fire line uh, from Berkeley Speedsmith, then it's 0 0.15 millimeters. So this is going to be too thick to pass to the through the mini duo several times. So this is what you need and you definitely need a John James needle size 10 uh, that will pass through the beads also. We're going to start with about 1.70 meters uh, worth of thread and cut that off and run that through our beeswax. I like beeswax. We're going to start uh, to set up with 12 mini duos Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we're going to pull that down our thread. And you need uh, to leave about 20 centimeters end tail because with the end tail we're going to make the loop right here on top for the ear hook. So double knot that, that's a square knot. And I never pull that knot through, I just carefully just kind of turn it and put that thread through. And then just put it down and get the first two together and then pull the rest through like that. And I do this because normally I find out when I make like the loop uh, for that it will be uh, going over other beads and then I have to take everything out because I pulled it tight. I'm gonna go through all of these beads again. So I've got to go through 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven. Nine, ten, and then when I get to 12 I'll pick up one more because the knot is right in front of it and you will see that I will have pulled everything loose again so what we do here is you got if all is correct the knot on that side or the end tail on that side and we're going to just pull that tight again right there and now I'm going to push it through two more to get away from that knot. And if it turns out that you loosened that up again, just pull that tight again. 
and we're now because this is going to be the inside right here we're going to go over the mini do you came out of which is this one right here we're going to go over it like that and then we're going to go into the top hole and then you'll see that the thread is on the back actually it's on the front but you know this will be the back and then we're going to uh, put 12 mini duos in between here one two three four five six put that on the other side will be easier to grab seven eight and I'm doing the one by one and that's to not damage the thread as much um, is as if you would when you put like two through there like this you know like one I've seen people do this just to get beating quicker but you'll damage your thread more if you do this because it's harder to pull through two beads than it is one you can just hear it grind so don't do that what I just did just take it easy it doesn't take long to make these earrings and actually with mother mother's day coming up if your mother likes these kind of um, earrings long earrings then it will be a great gift okay now I have passed through all of them and this is pretty tight um, when put in between there so I'm gonna go um, pick up two and I'm stepping up so I'm going in the top hole and then the bottom hole of the first one that you added and then pull that tight again and do that one more time and then I'm going to go over this bead again and into the top hole gonna go around and add 12 again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve I'm going to stick that through because I'm going to go all the way around again because this is kind of a loose round and you want to really tighten that up and when you tighten that up it will start turning into a little cup and the end tail is annoying but there's nothing you can do about it for now as you can see that's all this thread there right in between that uh, room you got so you need to try and tighten that up as good as possible and you know when you go around like this and you might wonder uh, oh my god where did I start that would be this is the first one on the inner round this is where you started for your second round so you're just gonna go all the way around until you bump into that other bead that you went over and then you're gonna stick it through a little further just to make sure that you got it all tight so I've gone around a little bit more than around and I'm pulling it tight, 
tight and it starts turning into a little cup right now. We're going to do one more round. So over that mini duo again with your thread and into that top hole. And then we're going to add 12 more. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And when you do the last one, you're just going to step up again into the top hole and the bottom hole of the next one and you're going to go around again because as you can see it's kind of loose, you can see the thread. And then we're going to go around again to make sure that's tightened up. that we're going to put the Rivoli in the middle and close it up. Okay, I'm pushing through a couple of more beads. This is where I ended, so I'm pushing through a couple more. I'm going to close that up really good. And now we need some 15 0 seed beads. And we're going to go over that bead again, only now it's kind of sort of on the uh, inside already, because if you close that up, then you'll see that it's on the inside. So you're going to go over that bead again, make sure you go over it on the inside, and then stick your needle through, and pick up one gold seed bead, and then go through two mini duos. One gold seed bead, two mini duos, one gold seed bead, two mini duos. Now, if you tighten that up a little bit, you can put your Rivoli in there. That's a 12 millimeter right there. And then we're gonna pick up one again and go through two. One, two, 15 oh again to, through two. 150 oh again and through two. Now we're going to go around here also one more time because you need to tighten up that Rivoli in there really good. So pull that tight and just go around again. One gold and two mini duos. One gold. Make sure that you come out. Uh, through all the beads that you don't by accident skip over one and just keep pulling that tight. Now it's going to be a little harder to see when you've gone all the way around, but when that feels tight, like right now, when you pry through there, feels tight, secure in there, everything is okay. We're going to go under the... Uh, oh, you come out with your needle out of a mini duo, so you can come out of a gold CP. Then we're going to go under this mini duo that's right next to it. We're going to go through there, and we're going to go into the next mini duo right here. So that's like when you got the two on the bottom, that's the first one 
on the top. So we're gonna go through there. Next we're going to pick up one 15-0 seed bead, two 11 o seed beads, and we're going to go into the Ava bead, and we're gonna put three Ava beads on there, in the area where there's that single hole right there. And then we're gonna pick up two 11 o's and one 15 o. And we're coming out of this mini duo, we're going to skip the middle of these uh, of this set. We're gonna skip this one and we're gonna go into this one. And we're also going to go into the top hole of that one. There. Now we need to cross and come out of here again because I want to go around one more time to strengthen it up. So we're gonna go through all these beads, which is the uh, the bottom hole of the mini duo in front and then that middle one and then that one and that one so you're going through four more mini duos and I'm just gonna go around again I just want to make sure that this is nice and strong so I'm gonna pick up the so I'm gonna pick up the 15 O the two 11 O's and the Avas and oops, that last Ava and two eleven O's, the fifteen O, and I'm gonna go through all these mini duos again. I'll make sure that that's tight. Get that intel out of the way, which is very annoying. And these two. But instead now of coming out of this one and going back down, we're going to push through one more, the next mini duo right here. Just one. And we're going to put a 15 0 gold on the needle, a 4 millimeter bicone, and another 15 0 gold. And we're going to go into this other top hole. There. Now we need this duos. I'm going to pick up one 15 0 gold, one this duo, and one 15 0 gold. And we're going to go into the Ava bead. And then we're going to pick up the next Ava bead and we're going to repeat that. So that's one 15 0 gold, one this duo, and one 15 0 gold into the next Ava bead. And we're going to do that one more time. Into the next Ava bead. One 15 0 gold, one this duo, and one 15 0 gold. Now we need the 15 0 gold, the bicone, and the 15 0 gold again. And we're going to pick up the mini duo that is behind. This one is coming out here, and this one is free, so we're going to pick up that mini duo right there. Now we've got to go through all of them again, come out of the 4 millimeter, so picking up the mini duos right here. And this is as, uh, the reason why you need that very thin fire line. I'm gonna go through the last two. Pull it all tight. Make sure that that is all tight. And we're gonna go down the 15 0, the bike comb, and the 15 0. We're gonna go into the Ava, into the 15 0 behind it, the Distuo, and the 15 0.
through the two Ava beads and you can't pick them up at the same time so you have to do them one by one. You're going to pick up the 15-0 and the next this duo. You're going to add three 15 O's. I'm going to go back into the other hole of the disc duo, pick up another three into the disc duo, and we're going to go down the three seat beats again, into the Whole of the disc duo, and now we're going to add one 15 0, three mini duos, and one 15 0. And we're going to go back into that whole of the disc duo, and I'm going to go around again because I want to make sure that that's tight and that it will be straight. If you go to the next step straight away then it might not uh, be straight this middle part that we're going to make right now. So now I know it's tight I'm gonna get into the uh, gold 15-0 again and the three mini duos and I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to pick up three 15 of gold. And I'm going to go into that top hole and I'm going to pick up another 15, uh, another mini duo, go in there and, and pick up another mini duo and go into that next hole and pick up three gold again and we're going to go back pass through that first row of the mini duos right there now we're going to pick up the three seat beats that you added you're going to add three more seat beats pass into the next hole, add one mini duo, pick up three seat beats again and pass through these three on that side. and then we're going to pass through all these mini duos again. everything tight. I'm gonna pick up the six now. I already passed through the first one by accident but that's okay. We need to pick them all six up. Pick up three more and go into that top hole. Pick up four. Pass back through the top hole go up into two, add one to your needle and go down two, so you got a nice sharp edge, back into that top hole, pull everything tight by pulling the middle one and then we're going to go down three again with three again. through these seat beads and 
one more. And one more time through the mini duos. Now we're going to turn back up into the 15 0, into the bottom hole, into the 3 on the side, into the top hole, into the 15 0. into the Ava bead, the next Ava bead, and the 15 -0 behind it, if you can pick it up right away. I'm gonna cross over to the other side of the disc duo by passing through the hole. And we're going to add three C beads on this side. We're going to pick up five seat beads and turn back in that same hole. I'm going to pass through those five seat beads we're going to add one more seat bead and we're going to go through these three I'm going to go down the this duo into the gold into the Ava into the next Ava into the gold the this duo the gold the Ava the next Ava the gold and the distio going to add three seed beads, pass back in the other hole, add five seed beads, pass back through that same hole, gonna go up the five, pull that tight, add one, through the three, down the this duo, and we're going to go to the other side again. The gold, the Ava, the Ava. gold the this duo the gold the Ava the Ava And gold I'm gonna pass up the this duo again and pick up three 
seat beads. I'm going to go down the hole. I'm going to pick up one eleven o, one three millimeter, one gold, and we're going to repeat this another seven times. So that's bicone, three millimeters, and gold. Got to have a total of eight four millimeter, uh, three millimeter bicones on there. So that's four bicones, five bicones, six bicones. Seven bicones. When you put the eighth bicone on, you're going to pick up another 11 O. Then you're going to pick up a four millimeter bicone, same color, of course. And then we're going to add another 11 O on the needle and just kind of pull that down. Next, you're going to pick up a bead cap if you got them. You don't have to, but it looks good. I get like a this is like a four millimeter, five millimeter bead cap, and an eight millimeter bicone, also in the same color. We're gonna turn back with a 15-O on our needle, and we're gonna go through the bicone, the bead cap, the 11 o the four millimeter, and we're coming out of the 11 o Now we're going to put on a bicone and a gold and we're going to do that eight times except for the last um, the last seat beat is another 11 oh so bicone gold bicone four five six seven eight and on the eight one we put an eleven o and we're gonna go into the this duo now we're gonna go around through five just so make sure you don't pick up the one you added in the middle just the five two three four five I'm gonna go back up And we're going to pick up the three now. Down into the studio. And here in front of that thread, we're going to go underneath the thread. I'm going to go pull that through, make a little loop. Pull that through, make a little loop, and just pass your needle through that loop. I got really short thread here. So you're passing that through the loop, and you make sure you stay in front of that seat bead, and just pull that tight. And then you're going to go up into the distio again and you're just going to pass your thread away through these seat beads all of them And this is where you cut off your thread. Now, this end tail right here is also on the bottom, but it needs to go to the middle top. So put the end tail on your needle and have a look where you're coming out. You're coming out of this um, mini duo. And it's going to be hard to pass that through the mini duo. So just go under the mini duos like that. And then just pick up a mini duo right here and just pass through there. 
until you get to the top and then you're just gonna go into that bead right there so next you're gonna pass through this one and then you're gonna go underneath that bead again and we're gonna pass in through the other side so that that thread actually goes diagonal on the inside so we're gonna go in here and that's the reason why you can't uh, do the uh, the loop any sooner when you finish the thing because you don't know where you're gonna come out of so we're going to add five seed beads one two three four five and we're gonna put that on top of there and we've got to go be careful if you're if you're sticking through two then that's fine um, just make sure that you come back on out later on so I'm gonna go up and around three times to make sure that that is one tight loop be careful that you don't break your mini deal and one more time around now you're allowed to stick through two of them now I'm gonna go underneath these threads in between the mini duos right there make that little loop pull it through pull it tight and then just stick through a couple of more mini duos and cut off your thread and basically all you have to do is add an air hook on there and I like to make my loop pretty and rounded like that and then you just add your ear hook and you're all done. So I got these ear hooks and they kind of tend to move around a little bit. So what I like to do is I like to squeeze them a little bit tight so that they don't move around anymore. There. And that's all there is to it. Now I have a wonderful pair of um, Egyptian looking art deco kindish uh, earrings. Uh, of course, they're kind of uh, big enough for a small pendant. So, if you like, rather have a pendant than just make one. But they're easily made and they're pretty quickly done. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. And for those of you who are advanced, come and give it a try. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>